Now on Good Morning Northwest, it is Washington's primary election day. We're taking a look at the big races and how to spot election misinformation. Oh, it's a warm week ahead. We're going to see things stay just relatively about 90 degrees. We'll tell you some of the changes we see coming up. And Kamala Harris has chosen her running mate. What we have learned just minutes ago. You're watching Good Morning Northwest on 4 News Now. I'm Robin Nance. And I'm Natalie Grant. Today is Tuesday, August 6th. We'll get over to Mark with his forecast in just a moment. But first, we want to start with that breaking news just into our newsroom. Reports coming in that Vice President Kamala Harris has made her decision for her running mate less than one day after officially receiving the Democratic nomination for president. Now, CNN saying it is Minnesota Governor Tim Walz, and Harris is scheduled to introduce him at a uh, rather at a Philadelphia rally that was supposed to happen. She has already made that decision. Mm -hmm. Hannah Joy is at the Breaking Now desk gathering more information on Harris's selection as we uh, get to and You're actually talking about the three choices it was down to first. Yes, most definitely. So at first we started talking about jo Governor Josh Shapiro. We also talked a little bit about Senator Mark Kelly, but now we're here with Governor Tim Walls as he is um, Kamala Harris, is Vice President Kamala Harris is running mate. And so we see that last Sunday, Vice President Kamala Harris interviewed some of her potential VP picks. And so these face-to-face -face meetings, they did play a critical role in her selection process. And so now that we see that during this critical role, she now selected someone who had competence and who had um, character. And she also looked at these top contenders as being someone she could possibly trust and win. And in the next 95 days, um, we'll see her and Tim Walls at the Democratic National Convention in Chicago. And so just am who I am and put it out there. I think this is going to be really important that the best decision and the best for the, the vice president to make that. And so this was the best decision. And so he did, Walls did leave this decision left to Vice President Kamala Harris to be um, the running mate. And so again, this was a decision on competence, chemistry, and core values. Um, and for those who donated to her campaign, they will see an exclusive live stream so people can hear from Harris and her VP together. And this will be the first time that they'll be seen together and also at the rally in um, Philadelphia. So reporting in studio, Hannah Joy for News Now. And we are expecting a uh, live uh, breaking news update from um, ABC News as well, talking about this whole decision. Absolutely. But for now, let's take a look at our weather here. Mark Peterson with your first alert forecast. Okay, so we have, again, a few clouds out there. Things are looking pretty nice. 69 degrees uh, currently into Spokane, West Plains. 60 into Coeur d'Alene. A hey, variance there. Here's a look at the four things you need to know. Uh, Going to be a few clouds today. Going to be breezy at times. Gust to 20 potentially. Uh, low 90s throughout much of this week. Some upper 80s in there. And our air quality will unfortunately remain in moderate for the most part. Now we are getting, again, some influence out of Canada when it comes to their smoke. And so we don't see a lot of cloud cover. There's going to be those clouds that we'll see build for the afternoon. But other than that, there's going to be some sunshine as well. All right, 61 and 9 miles, 66 downtown, 62 into Coeur d'Alene, depending on which monitor you're looking at, and into Liberty Lake, 62 degrees. Things looking pretty good there. Here's a look at our forecast for the day. We're going to see temperatures climb up, and we're going to be in the 80s throughout much of the day, and then we're going to see 4 o'clock, that high today of 92 degrees. We're going to remain into the 90s through dinner time As the sun sets, yeah, it cools down low 60s for tomorrow morning. Breaking news overnight, an irrigation canal broke near Moses Lake around 10 o'clock last night, causing roads to flood. The break happened between Road 5 and Road O Northeast. As you can see, water has covered the street near Road N Northeast and Cherokee Road. The Grant County Sheriff's Office issued level two evacuations for the 10,000 block of Road 4 Northeast. Water from the canals being diverted to Moses Lake and Potholes Reservoir. We'll keep an eye on this, and let you know when it's resolved. Well, today is primary election day here in Washington, and it's a crowded ballot. There are some key races for replacements of Washington's Governor Jay Inslee and Eastern Washington Representative Kathy McMorris-Rogers. Yeah, viewers have been written, written into us wondering how you can be sure that your vote will count this year. 4 News Now's Allison Martinez is at the elections office to explain what election security looks like in Spokane County. Hey, Allison. 
Good morning to you both. I'm joined this morning with elections manager Mike McLaughlin. We're here at the Spokane County Elections Office. Now, it's a busy day. I understand that you guys see people showing up in masses today. Can you walk us through what the workflow looks like for today? So today we'll start processing ballots at 7 o'clock this morning, picking up the drop boxes, um, getting all those in, getting them recorded so that if you track your ballot at votewa.gov, you can see that your ballot's been returned. Yeah. We'll also get the mail in this morning. We're expecting about 75,000 ballots Wow. today. So, you know, is get out there, deposit your ballot at the drop box or mail it uh, early today so you're not stuck in lines at 8 o'clock. So you said you were expecting 75,000 ballots today. So I think it's fair to say today is really the final push for a lot of people. Yes, today today's the deadline. This is the last day to vote and get your ballot in. Yeah, absolutely. Now we're t talking about uh, voter turnout. Can you walk us through some of the numbers that you've seen up to today, how they've compared to years in the past? So it's a little bit slower than it was in comparable primary years, but mm -hmm. I mean, they were, were not that far off. And today we'll get at least half of the ballots that were returned. So we've gotten about 76,000 in mm -hmm. today. So that's what we're expecting another 75,000 today. So you know, it's a lot of ballots to process, and hopefully we'll get them all in and be done by Friday. Yeah, absolutely. And for today, what are some of those key takeaways that people need to be aware of um, as they deal with deadlines? Is, uh, if you're depositing it in the mail, is uh, each drop box has the last pickup time. Be sure that you deposit it before that time. And all of our drop boxes at the libraries and town halls close promptly at 8 o'clock. Mm -hmm. So try not being in line and get there early. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much for joining us mm -hmm. this morning. You can expect unofficial election results tonight at 8.15. We'll have live coverage here on 4 News Now. I'll send it back to you guys in studio. Allison, thanks. Washington Secretary of State Steve Hobbs, who is up for re-election this year, wants to warn voters about misinformation. In a news release sent yesterday, Hobbs pointed to this uh, to a post as an example of misinformation. Now, in it, Elon Musk shares a manipulated video reporting to or purporting rather to be Vice President Kamala Harris through the use of AI. An expert on election misinformation from the University of Washington says other rumors began to rapidly spread online after the presidential debate, and especially after President. Joe Biden dropped out of the race. Her, her advice, slow down. Secretary Hobbs had some additional advice as well. Check out your local news and see if they're reporting it. If they're not reporting it, chances are it's probably not real. The other thing you could do is just pick up the phone and contact your local county auditor or, or, or contact the Secretary of State's office and we will be more than happy and your local county auditor will be more than happy to tell you what's going on. Now you can find links to other trusted sites on our website, kxly.com. Good morning, Northwest. Time is now eight minutes after six. Checking back in with Mark Peterson here as we head into another warm day here. I'm reminded of a record that has a skip in it, and I just keep oh. talking. <laughs> it's going to be hot. It's going to be hot. It's going to be hot. Like uh, and it looks like that is going to happen throughout the month of August. By the way, a record goes on a thing. It's got a hole in the middle. Never mind. Anyway, uh, it, it's going to be warm. We're going to talk about how warm and for how long that's coming up. Oh boy. Historic amounts of rain in the south as deadly Hurricane Debbie is on the move. Up next, where it's headed and its destruction it's bringing. Plus, the blood donation crisis, why blood centers and hospitals are begging for donors, and why a Spokane nurse says she'll give as long as she can. Live stream KXLY Plus on the 4 News Now app. When it's time to protect your home, call Everhart Painting, Spokane's premier painting contractor. Everhart Painting takes care of every detail and backs the results with their industry-leading warranty. Call now for our summer special. Everhart Painting, your painter for life. Happy anniversary from McVeigh Brothers. This month, if you'd like to upgrade your home with some new Coeur d'Alene windows or maybe a new roof, we're offering an anniversary special. Or no money down, zero payments, and zero interest for six months. From McVeigh Brothers. Gold has retained its value throughout history. And at Wendell Ford, winning Spokane's best new car dealership is both a great honor and value we treasure. And right now, enjoy zero down, no payments for 90 days, and 0% APR on select models. Let me repeat, zero down, no payments for 90 days, and 0% APR on select models. Go for the gold with Wendell Ford. Because this offer won't last forever. Wendell Ford, at the Y on North Division.
Four News Now first alert weather means you're first to know. Rain gear or more sunscreen? Time to mow or turn on the sprinklers? Safe on the water? Live radar pinpoint storms near you. Be the first to know with Four News Now first alert weather. Our cost of living is out of control and people are hurting. Gas, food, and housing prices are among the nation's highest. The cost of crime is soaring, and we're the worst for taxes and spending. As governor, I will fund what works, fix what doesn't, and stop spending money we just don't have. Bob Ferguson won't change a thing. I will, and that's the difference. Dave Reichert. your summer with cash back checking and savings accounts from Canopy Credit Union with an incredible 6.17 annual percentage yield on your first $25,000 in your checking account and a generous 4.07 annual percentage yield on your first $50,000 in your savings. You can potentially earn over $3,500 a year. Level up your finances this summer. Canopy Credit Union. Here you grow. Limits and conditions apply. What? Good morning. We're coming on the air now with breaking news. Vice President Kamala Harris is set to pick Minnesota Governor Tim Waltz as her running mate. Uh, there he is right there, two-term go governor of Minnesota. I want to go straight to Selena Wang, who is there in Philadelphia. And Selena, uh, Waltz appears to fit the uh, all-American definition of a man from middle, middle America. High school teach teacher, football coach, member of the Army National Guard, before becoming a member of Congress, and now governor. Exactly. He really has that perfect backstory. He also has those rural roots and he's really emerged as the dark horse in this Veep Stakes race. He has emerged as the favorite very recently as he has been on the cables, on the network, showing that he can effectively push back on those Republican attacks. He's the one, George, remember, who labeled J.D. Vance and his Republican allies as, quote, weird, which gained a lot of steam with the Harris campaign. He has this folksy, personal, informal vibe that has really appealed to a lot of Democrats and they believe that that his rural backstory, the fact that he was a former member of the NRA, as you say, he is this high school, former high school teacher, he was a football coach, that this can help appeal to those independent swing state voters. But it is unprecedented, George, how all of this has played out. I was told that as of last night, according to sources, Vice President Harris still had not made her decision and that her team was printing out signs with multiple different candidates on it, ready to go at any moment. This decision coming down to the wire, her and her Close team had been keeping this decision under lock and key. They wanted to avoid any leaks. And let me bring in John Carl, our chief Washington correspondent. We know that the vice president met with, the, with three finalists on Sunday, not only Governor Waltz, but also Governor Josh Shapiro of Pennsylvania, Senator Mark Kelly of Arizona. Yeah, uh, all three fan, uh, uh, had strong uh, arguments to make to be her running mate, uh, all three uh, under serious consideration until the very end. Uh, Tim Walls uh, came through uh, as uh, somebody that, frankly, uh, Kamala Harris was comfortable with. She actually had known uh, uh, Josh Shapiro much longer, the two of them, uh, both uh, former uh, attorneys general. She had known, had a longer relationship with him, uh, but uh, people that I've spoken to said she really hit it off with, with Tim Walls. Uh, both of them uh, coming from states that are important. Pennsylvania, uh, perhaps the most important battleground state, but Minnesota, a, a state that the Democrats I uh, won last time and we're counting on winning again, but where Donald Trump had uh, shown strength and, and more importantly, it's, it's that whole uh, area, uh, Minnesota, Wisconsin, uh, Michigan, uh, the, the feeling was having a, uh, a Midwest governor uh, who had uh, governed in, in a state uh, that, 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 uh, that, that has significant pockets of, of Republican voters uh, would be good for her. And if you look at uh, his experience in Congress, George, uh, you know, he's a six term member of the House before he uh, ran for governor. His district uh, is a district that Donald Trump carried quite handedly, uh, a, a pretty conservative district. And as a member of Congress, uh, he was viewed as a, as a moderate Democrat. Now he is seen certainly among these three finalists as the most progressive, uh, the most liberal uh, politically of the three finalists. Uh, but he does, uh, you know, have a record in Congress uh, as, as a rather moderate uh, Democrat representing a very moderate to conservative district in Minnesota.
And let me bring in Mary Bruce, our chief White House correspondent. Mary, that personal chemistry, obviously paramount uh, in the final decision. But in the last couple of weeks, Tim Walz also had been performing very well on the stump. And a lot of Democrats believe he lines up well with former President Trump's running mate, J.D. Vance. Yeah, certainly, George, his Midwestern appeal, that plain spoken way of talking that he has, he's a bit folksy. And I think that certainly appeals to a lot of voters, especially perhaps you know, some, some Joe Biden supporters. He clearly showed that Kamala Harris believes that he is able to get out there on the stump, clearly articulate the case against Donald Trump. And he was creating a lot of buzz. Look, as Selena said, he coined that, 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 that one word takedown of the Trump Vance team, just calling them weird. That is something that really gained a, a fair amount of traction. And so much of this decision, well, yes, it is about, you know, who can put what states in play, you know, looking at the map, looking ahead to the future. It is also a decision that is simply about chemistry, camaraderie, compatibility. This is a job, of course, that Kamala Harris knows better than anyone else. And clearly, when it came down to it, she believes that she and Tim Walls make a good team here, that they are going to be able to not just govern well, but also win. All of these things factor into this decision. And of course, this is the most consequential decision of her career and one that she has had to make at absolute warp speed. Just 16 days, George, 16 days. That's how long she has had to get used to being a candidate and to making this huge decision. And despite all of the decision making, all of the vetting, when it comes down to it, this decision was up to Kamala Harris alone. No question about that. Let's bring in Rachel Scott with the first reaction from the Trump campaign, Rachel. Yeah, we're just getting word in from Donald Trump's uh, campaign and also from the former president and his allies saying, uh, quote, even worse uh, than dangerously liberal and crooked Kamala Harris. Uh, that's the reaction uh, to this news that we are now reporting that Harris is picking uh, Governor Tim Walz to be her running mate. Uh, just yesterday, George, uh, the former president Donald Trump was saying quite the opposite. In fact, he, during an interview, he said that whoever Harris chooses to be her running mate would be better than her. We know that the Trump campaign for days now has really been trying to recalibrate their focus, trying to figure out what exactly their strategy is because they wanted to run against President Joe Biden. Once President Joe Biden dropped out of the race, they now have tried to figure out what their new line of attack is, not only on Vice President Kamala Harris, but also now on someone who is going to be her running mate. Uh, when, when President Biden was still in the race, we know there was that phone call between Senator J.D. Vance and also Vice President Kamala Harris agreeing to meet again, once again on the debate stage. We'll have to see what happens with a potential vice presidential debate and whether or not Governor Tim Walz will agree to debate Senator J.D. Vance, Donald Trump's running mate, George. Okay, Rachel, thanks. Let's bring in our political director, Washington Bureau Chief Rick Klein. And, and Rick. All right, you have uh, been listening to a live report, breaking news report from ABC News, in which Kamala Harris is poised to choose Minnesota Governor Tim Walz as her running mate for vice president. Of course, they're going to be covering this all day, both on Good Morning America throughout the morning and then ABC as well as our newscast tonight. So stay tuned as well as head to our website, kxly.com, for the latest information. But let's get back to some more stories closer to home here. Yeah, let's take a look at this. This is video from inside the fire lines of the Upper Cemetery Wildfire. Only charred land and scorched trees left in that area. The fire burned 44 acres west of downtown Spokane two weeks ago. And when we see these burn scars, they are a reminder of the bravery of the firefighters who risked their lives battling the flames. That fire was off of Government Way, not far from Indian Canyon Golf Course on the edge of the Greenwood Cemetery. And fortunately, a new Washington State initiative helped to prevent the fire from spiraling out of control. The fire has become a lesson in fuel reduction efforts assisting in those fires. When we work with the landscape like this, it, it works with us and it becomes more of our friend in helping us versus, as you can see, just turning around the amount of fuel there. Part of the area affected by the Upper Cemetery fire had previously undergone fuel reduction. Trimming trees, clearing brush, and mulching the forest ground are part of that fuel reduction work. Near Keller and the Sawilla wildfire, these new photos show the work along Highway 21 that allowed the Department of Transportation to open another stretch of the road over the weekend. That fire is now 90% contained and families in Keller have started returning home. With that, the Keller Ferry is now fully operational, though crews are still fighting to stop the fire spread. We'll keep you updated on any developments on KXLY.com. Taking a live look outside this morning as we kick off our Tuesday. There's our pavilion, a little hazy morning again. Mm -hmm. That humidity kind of hanging around. Yeah, and we had a fire weather warning. We had that red flag warning yesterday. Right. Still in effect for some. 
yeah, to the south. There's still dry, dry lightning, still potential in the Palmeroy Lewiston area. So that's the only place it exists now. <clears throat> Fire weather warning or a red flag warning again. Uh, they're the same thing, synonymous. So we're going to see that continue today until 8 o'clock. For us, hour by hour, we're going to see some variable high thin clouds. Temperatures 76 at 10 o'clock, 80 by 11 o'clock, and then it's the upper 80s all afternoon long for low 90s that'll take us through dinner time. And of course, 87 a normal high this time of year uh, we're going to be at 92 so altogether not that hot but certainly it is very warm now we look at what's going on around the country we still have some hot spots into the gulf states into the southwest but it is the remnants of debbie that are wreaking havoc into the southeast in georgia again tornado uh, watches warnings and of course flood watches and warnings in that effect with several inches of rain falling New England starting to see more. We have heat up into the Great Lakes and severe weather. For us, it is the influence out of Canada that has cooled us into the low 90s. I know uh, we're also seeing some of that smoke coming out of Canada that are gonna, it's going to be uh, dragged right across the top of us. So as that cool pocket of air continues to move into the Great Lakes over the next couple of days, we're going to see temperatures moderate a little bit, and we're going to have temperatures in the upper 80s and low 90s. So we're not going to see a ton of movement, but just enough to bring it really back to average. We look at the elevated smoke. Uh, we've been hanging out in moderate, had conversations yesterday with a family where their child is affected by a little bit of smoke. And again, this has been a hard week for them. It's going to continue. And so if you have that effect staying indoors and around air conditioning and filtered air really is going to be a benefit. We're going to continue to see more smoke coming into the region, and that's going to hang with us. We could get to sensitive for some, but moderate seems to be where we're really going to be hanging out, except in some of those areas where we continue to see that. Again, moderate right now. Temperatures are going to be 90 Wednesday day upper 80s Thursday Friday and then hanging around 90 for the weekend oh did I mention the weekend and it's only Tuesday it's Look, a, and what else you haven't mentioned yet taco Tuesday there thank you, you very go. much <laughs> I knew it I knew it was in there it was way. boiling in them <laughs> <laughs> your good morning Northwest time right now is 622 as we inch closer to the start of football season here in the state of Washington one team was impacted by lightning yesterday while another prepares to play against the team that embraces it We'll tell you more when we come back next in sports. Live stream KXLY Plus on the 4 News Now app. The Make It Ford Summer Sales Event is on. I want that. Amazing offers on the best-selling trucks in America for 47 years. Don't wait. Get the deal you can't miss. Lease a 2024 F-150 STX Super Crew for just $3.99 a month. Only at your local Ford dealer. 50th. Dead last. Washington has the lowest number of law enforcement officers per capita of any state. That's unacceptable. As governor, I'll fix it. Public safety is my top priority. I'll hire more police and first responders, create a statewide response unit to tackle the fentanyl crisis, and invest the billion dollars I won from drug companies to increase treatment. Washingtonians must feel safe and be safe for our state to thrive. Exploring different regions throughout the Northwest and beyond can be fun and educational. 4 News Now would like to showcase these locations with Travel for Adventures. Moses Lake is the perfect family getaway for fun and recreation. From camping along the shores to fishing excursions and ATVing, Moses Lake is a recreational wonderland in the heart of Washington State. Moses Lake Golf Club often stays open late into the season or cool off in their water park during the summer heat. Moses Lake is also known for its Spring Music Festival in May, a fabulous air show that includes the World RC Invitational in June, and the Grant County Fair held each August at the Moses Lake County Fairgrounds. For a listing of events, culinary delights, and lodging options, visit TourMosesLake.com and plan your vacation today. Moses Lake, Washington, it's the perfect place to explore and relax. Discover more places you might like to visit. Go to KXLI.com slash travel for adventures. If you want to shine this summer and say goodbye to that winter weight, then this week is the perfect time to join Moo Fitness and get started on a new workout routine to get you sculpted for the swimsuit season. Moo Fitness. As an OBGYN, Dr. Bernadine Bank has served the women of our community. In Congress, she'll continue fighting for women's health. When our freedoms are under attack, we need a doctor in the house. Vote Dr. Bank by August 6th. 
I'm Dr. Bernadine Bain, and I approve this message. The Make It Ford Summer Sales event is on. Amazing offers, like the Built Wild Bronco family. Get the deal you can't miss. Lease a 2024 Bronco Sport Big Ben for just $369 a month, only at your local Ford dealer. Week two of training camp for the Washington State Cougars got off to a bumpy start on Monday morning as lightning delayed their practice until the late afternoon. And for the most part, it was business as usual for the Cougs. The only difference is this week we'll get to see the full 20 sessions of practice as head coach Jake Dicker is ramping up the intensity before the team's first scrimmage on Saturday morning. Of course, that will give us a better idea of who's in the driver's seat for that starting quarterback role. Meanwhile, across the state, the Seattle Seahawks are in their third week at camp, but if you can believe it, we're starting to come to the close on that period. Now Seattle fans received some welcome news over the weekend that Geno Smith would return soon from a knee and hip injury, and that'll help out the offense a lot given their first preseason game is later this week, and everyone is still learning the Mike McDonald system. You know, this is the last true training camp week of us to go through all the, have all the reps all the time, all those things. And so, like, we, we need to take advantage of this opportunity. And that was my message to the guys, uh, you know, after we broke practice. Now the Seahawks will travel down to Los Angeles later this week where they will take on the Chargers for the first of three preseason games as we are now 35 days away from the season opener. Reporting in studio, I'm Alex Crescenti for News Now Sports. 30 some odd days, but who's counting? <sighs> All of us. <laughs> it is now 626. Another Washington lawmaker is joining the grocery store fight, trying to prevent a major merger. Why Senator Maria Cantwell says she's now on board. In this morning's GMA First Look, pandemonium. Meet the newest pandas on U.S. shores. Five-year-old male Yun Chuan and nearly four-year-old female Sing Bao taking up residence at the San Diego Zoo. Xin Bao, the young female, and Yun Chuan, the young male, are doing fantastically well. They've gone through an acclimation period. They've settled into their new habitat. They're exploring the hillside and all the features, so we, we couldn't be happier. They're the first pandas to enter the U.S. in more than 20 years after the resumption of so-called panda diplomacy with China. We have so many things that we are discussing at the global political levels that we see every day in the news. What's powerful is this is something we both share priorities with. We both see the importance of wildlife conservation. We both understand it's important to the world. And coming up at 7 a.m., we'll give you an inside look into their new home. With your GMA First Look, I'm Will Reeve, ABC News, San Diego, California. I have moderate to severe Crohn's disease. Now there's Sky Rizzy. Things are looking up. I've got symptom relief. Control of my Crohn's means everything to me. Ooh, control is everything to me. Feel significant symptom relief at four weeks with Sky Rizzy, including less abdominal pain and fewer bowel movements. Sky Rizzi is the first IL-23 inhibitor that can deliver remission and visibly improve damage of the intestinal lining. And Sky Rizzi is proven to help deliver long-lasting remission at one year. Serious allergic reactions and an increased risk of infections or a lower ability to fight them may occur. Tell your doctor if you have an infection or symptoms, had a vaccine or plan to. Liver problems may occur in Crohn's disease. Now's the time to ask your gastroenterologist how you can take control of your Crohn's with Sky Rizzi. could help you save. Live stream KXLY Plus on the 4 News Now app. Summertime! Weekdays this summer. Watch Kelly Clarkson weekdays at 3. Hi, I'm Randy, owner of Reuter 911 Sewer and Drain. Sewer and Drain cleaning at half the price of the larger competitors. 24-7 service for all of your sewer and drain cleaning needs in Spokane, 535-3136. 
Gold has retained its value throughout history. And at Wendell Ford, winning Spokane's best new car dealership is both a great honor and value we treasure. And right now, enjoy zero down, no payments for 90 days, and 0% APR on select models. Let me repeat, zero down, no payments for 90 days, and 0% APR on select models. Go for the gold with Wendell Ford. Because this offer won't last forever. Wendell Ford, at the Y on North Division. Oof. Moving day never goes smoothly, does it? Let's just settle this little mishap, huh? Who do we always see on the billboards again? It's the one called That's All Guys. After an accident like this, you deserve to be compensated fairly for everything you've had to go through. At Craig Swap & Associates, we only get paid after you win. One call, that's all. 509-999-9999. Happy anniversary from McVeigh Brothers. This month, if you'd like to upgrade your home with some new Coeur d'Alene windows or maybe a new roof, we're offering an anniversary special. Or no money down, zero payments, and zero interest for six months. From McVeigh Brothers. From 4 News Now, this is Good Morning Northwest. We are kicking off this half hour with the 4 News Now story tracker and some breaking news about the Democratic nominee for president. Just am who I am and put it out there. I think this is going to be really important that the best decision and the best for the, the vice president to make that. Now that is Minnesota Governor Tim Walz, who Kamala Harris has just chosen to be her running mate and vice president for this race for president. The widely anticipated announcement comes just days after Harris officially secured the Democratic nomination following a virtual roll call of delegates. Next up for the campaign is a rally tonight in Philadelphia. Harris is scheduled to introduce him there. And an update that could take a toll on your morning drive. Another construction project just underway off of I-90 at the Pines exit. There will be lane closures and delays there through October while crews widen the road between Marietta and Mansfield. And tonight is National Night Out, a time to promote police and community partnership. The day has been celebrated since 1984 in both the U.S. and Canada and police departments and community groups host events like block parties, barbecues, and even some fun festivals. Yeah, there are several local events if you would like to take part, including one at Green Bluff. You can enjoy free hot dogs and chips and play some cornhole. That's happening from 6 to 7 at 9809 East Green Bluff Road. And in North Idaho, you can meet Sheriff Bob Norris and other Kootenai County deputies at McIntyre Family Park in Hayden. See a canine demo and enjoy food, drinks, and live music. That's today from 4 until 8 tonight. Get out tonight if you can. Well, thanks so much for starting your day with us. I'm Natalie Grant. And I'm Robin Nance. It is Tuesday, August 6th. Let's check in with Mark in our first alert forecast kicking off your day. We have a little bit of haze, a little bit of humidity out there, and we're sitting at 69 degrees. Winds are light, less than 10 miles an hour. We could see some breezy conditions in and around a little bit of uh, disruption with the isolated thunderstorm activity, mainly to the south of us. Taking a look at the four things you need to know. Yeah, a few clouds today. Again, breezy at times. Low 90s throughout much of this week, some upper 80s as well. But the air quality is probably going to remain in moderate. We look at the forecast radar, and we're going to see, again, a few clouds coming in this afternoon. A sprinkle or two possible out of that cloud cover, and that's going to continue to make its way out. And we can see some of that here later on tonight. As we look at our current conditions, 56 into Deer Park, but yet Cheney at 64 degrees, low to mid 60s along the I-90 corridor, all the way in to Coeur d'Alene. Here's our forecast for the day. Uh, we're going to warm up uh, relatively quickly, 82 at noon. Our high today is going to be 92 degrees. In our For the People coverage today is primary election day. People across Washington will make their voices heard. Now this ballot includes a contentious race, including 28 candidates running for governor and 10 running to represent Eastern Washington in Congress. Our Four News Now's Allison Martinez is live at the Spokane County Elections Office just with some key information you need to know before this election day ends. Good morning, Allison. Natalie Robin, good morning. It's the final push for candidates and for voters who haven't turned in their ballots. Today's election will decide the top candidates who will go to the general election in November. Now today's primary election is includes a big race for the gubernatorial candidate. The top candidates angling for your vote are Democratic nominee Bob Ferguson, who is Washington's current Attorney General, Republic nom Republican nominee Semi Bird, who was most most recently on the Richland School District School Board before leaving office last August. 
Republican nominee Dave Reichert, who is the former King County Sheriff and serves as the U.S. Representative for Washington's 8th Congressional District. And Democratic nominee Mike Mullet, who is a state senator representing the 5th Legislative District. If you want to vote in the primaries and you haven't registered, you can still do so in person today by 8 p.m. Your mailed ballot also must be postmarked by today. Official ballot drop boxes are open until 8 p.m. You can expect the unofficial election results tonight at 8.15 p.m. and then you can expect official election results on August 20th. You can watch our live election coverage tonight on 4 News Now. Reporting in Spokane, Allison Martinez, 4 News Now. Allison, thanks so much. Well, there are also levies on the ballot that will impact your property taxes, including one in the Newman Lake area. Spokane Fire District 13 wants to raise property taxes by 31 cents per $1,000 of assessed property value. And for a $500,000 home, that's around $150 a year. The fire district says it doesn't have enough money in its operations budget to keep it the current staffing level. To see what could happen to your insurance rates if this levy is not approved, you can find this story posted right now on KXLY.com. Two rockets were fired at an airbase in Iraq. According to U.S. defense officials, several U.S. personnel are hurt. The attack against the U.S. and coalition forces are at all side air base. Right now, we don't have many details on the injuries. The U.S. defense blamed Iran-aligned militia groups for the attack, calling it a dangerous escalation. The U.S. national security team and President Biden are braced for Iranian retaliation over the assassination of Hamas political leader Ismail Haniya. Israel has not commented on the killing. Hezbollah has vowed to retaliate against Israel. According to the White House, President Biden is briefed on the attack. Biden said that the United States does not seek conflict in the Middle East, but if an American is harmed, the United States will respond. Reporting in studio, Hannah Joy, 4 News Now. Hannah, thanks so much. U.S. Senator from Washington, Maria Cantwell, is joining the legal battle to try to prevent grocery store giants Albertsons and Kroger from merging. Uh, right now, the Federal Trade Commission is trying to prevent that merger, saying it would limit competition. To address these concerns, the two companies agreed to sell more than 600 stores, including two Safeways in Spokane. Kroger and Albertson say they need to merge to compete with companies like Walmart and Amazon, which could, they say, actually bring down prices for shoppers. But Senator Cantwell says that just isn't likely. She released a statement reading in part, any claims that the proposed merger will result in lower prices for consumers or higher wages and better working conditions for workers is not plausible. Your good morning, Northwest time right now is 637. Mark is back. We are talking about our air quality as we have some hazy skies out there. Yeah, those hazy conditions, fires to the north and to the south and to the west and to the east. Now, where is our, where is our smoke coming from? Out of Canada now. We're going to talk more about that smoke and what we'll see through the week. That's coming up. Feeling sick? COVID-19 cases are on the rise. What you can do to strengthen your immunity this year, that's coming up next. Connect with 4 News Now on KXLY+. Plus. Whether you're hauling your boat to the lake or a team full of soccer players. Perfection Tire carries a full line of Cooper tires with advanced safety features, warranties, and competitive pricing. Nobody beats perfection. Our cost of living is out of control, and people are hurting. Gas, food, and housing prices are among the nation's highest. The cost of crime is soaring. And we're the worst for taxes and spending. As governor, I will fund what works, fix what doesn't, and stop spending money we just don't have. Bob Ferguson won't change a thing. I will. And that's the difference. Dave Reichert. North Idaho Urology, in partnership with Cancer Care Northwest, we specialize in advanced prostate cancer care. I'm Dr. Aaron Wagner. I'm a radiation oncologist with Cancer Care Northwest. We have quite a few different treatment options for prostate cancer, ranging anywhere from standard radiation and IMRT approaches to SBRT to brachytherapy, a full spectrum of different prostate cancer treatments. We very much try to individualize their treatment plan for them. At Parker Subaru, we understand that every Subaru is unique. 
That's why we offer a wide range of genuine Subaru accessories designed to enhance your driving experience and match your lifestyle. From rugged outdoor adventures to everyday convenience, we have what you need to personalize your Subaru. Explore genuine Subaru accessories at parkersubaru.com or visit us at Parker Subaru in beautiful Coeur d'Alene. Higher prices, a wide open border, dysfunction in D.C. We need new leadership in Washington. We need Michael Baumgartner. He'll stop the reckless spending. Baumgartner will work to close the southern border once and for all. And he'll never stop fighting for eastern Washington families. It's time for a change. It's time for a common sense conservative. It's time for Michael Baumgartner in Congress. Conservatives for American Excellence is responsible for the content of this advertising. Whether you're going on a long trip or just your daily commute, Perfection Tires Certified Techs are your trusted resource for efficient, cost-effective repairs and routine maintenance. Nobody beats perfection. Good morning. Welcome back. It's now 640. PayPal, Venmo, and Zelle are all popular apps to send and receive money through your phone. And while they're convenient, they're also an easy target for scams. And one scam is an email that looks like a legitimate receipt, but the idea is to get people to call the number in it and give their information. The scammers are banking on you panicking and reaching out immediately without thinking. So here's how you can tell if it's a scam. First, see if the email has the correct last four digits of your card listed. Look at the sender's email address to see if it looks legitimate. And finally, call your bank to confirm if those charges were actually made. If not, report the scam, delete the email. COVID-19 cases are on the rise again. CDC data shows the levels detected in wastewater have been increasing since May, including here in Washington and Idaho. The most common variant is KP3. Officials say if it's been a while since you've been vaccinated, you may be vulnerable to it. Immunity, we're learning, lasts around four to six months. So keep that number in the back of your mind. That is probably the reason that we're seeing a summer surge as the protection wears off from the last set of shots. Now, as of mid-May, the CDC says fewer than 23% of adults and 15% of children reported having received that updated vaccine for the last season. This year's vaccine is expected to be out this fall, targeting the same family as the popular variant. Experts recommend you get both the COVID and flu shots before the end of October to protect yourself and others from getting severely sick. 642, here is your 10 second takeaway. It's warmer than average, there's no doubt about that, but not by much. So grab the shades, know that there's some haze out there. Our high today is gonna to be 92 degrees. Good morning, Northwest time is now 642. Well, yesterday's stock market plunge have a lot of people stressing out, but don't worry why economists say it's not time to panic just yet. We'll tell you now after this break. Live stream KXLY Plus on the 4 News Now app. Life is an opportunity to grow, to feel, to excel. Life moves at its own pace, daring you to keep up. Life pushes you to be better and to go farther. Life has you here. We're just here to help. Fiftieth, dead last, Washington has the lowest number of law enforcement officers per capita of any state. That's unacceptable. As governor, I'll fix it. Public safety is my top priority. I'll hire more police and first responders, create a statewide response unit to tackle the fentanyl crisis, and invest the billion dollars I won from drug companies to increase treatment. Washingtonians must feel safe and be safe for our state to thrive. Fairway Floor Abbey Carpet in Post Falls has been North Idaho's premier flooring shop for over 30 years. From remodels to new construction, they've got your home or business covered from wall to wall. Their expert design team will work with you to find the perfect floor for your lifestyle and budget. They've got the lowest prices. From carpet and area rugs to hardwood, LVP and laminate, if you can dream it, they can floor it. Dream it. Design it. Live it. At Fairway Floor Abbey Carpet in Post Falls.
What's the weather for your summer plans? 4 News Now First Alert weather means you're first to know. First alert sent straight to your phone. Live radar pinpointing the storms near you. Weather for the next week or next hour. Be the first to know with 4 News Now First Alert weather. As an OBGYN, Dr. Bernadine Bank has served the women of our community. In Congress, she'll continue fighting for women's health. When our freedoms are under attack, we need a doctor in the house. Vote Dr. Bank by August 6th. I'm Dr. Bernadine Bank, and I approve this message. Hi, I'm Chris with Tactical Plumbing. We're a well-known, locally-owned company with a great reputation with our customers. While the new housing boom stays strong, we are excited to announce that we are growing our company to provide homeowners with our precision services. Tactical Plumbing has over 30 years of combined experience, and we are now booking residential service and repair. Tactical Plumbing providing our community with carefully planned and strategically executing plumbing solutions. Call us or visit our website today for all of your plumbing needs. 4 News Now is brought to you by Car Wash Plaza. Good morning and welcome back. Quarter till seven now. Worries on Wall Street continue this morning, although stock futures were up overnight. Now the Dow looks to recover today from a 1,000 point plunge, but experts say if you're worried about your 401k, don't panic just yet. ABC's Rana Alley has the details. Overnight, encouraging news. Stocks in Asia trading higher. The big rebound coming after the worst day on Wall Street in nearly two years. Investors with a long list of concerns, including high interest rates, a disappointing jobs report, and tensions in the Middle East. All of these things created a perfect storm, and you had everybody just wanting to sell everything they can. The so-called Magnificent Seven, a cohort of tech stocks, including Apple and Google, having a not-so-magnificent and day, losing more than $650 billion in value. But experts say, don't panic. The data that we've seen so far, to us at least, is more suggestive of a, an economic growth slowdown during the balance of the year rather than an outright recession. Economic anxiety putting the Federal Reserve in the spotlight. Some argue Fed officials have waited too long to slash interest rates. Is there any need for an emergency Fed cut? Doesn't look like it in our opinion. Some analysts now predicting the Fed will cut rates by half a point before the end of this year. We don't expect that recession and we expect better things in the global economy and the U.S. economy after we see some rate cuts from the Fed and, and have that trickle through the economy. Rhiannon and Alley, ABC News, New York. Here is your live look at Tuesday morning over the Spokane Veterans Memorial Arena, looking over downtown Spokane. That sun peeking out this morning. It's looking like the reflection off of there as we head into our day today, another warm day. Yeah, those skies are not blue, though. Mm -mm. Not completely, no. There's a little bit of haze, a little bit of cloud cover coming in. That's some of that's going to be the heating today. Let's take a look at our current conditions. Skywise, not looking too bad. On to the ground level, moderate air quality, uh, 56 Deer Park. Temperatures into the low to mid 60s. Again, along that I-90 corridor. Things are looking okay today, hour by hour. Uh, we're going to have the variable clouds, sunny conditions, 80 by 11 o'clock. Uh, we're going to get into the mid 80s by 1. We'll continue to warm. Winds are going to be relatively light, 10, 15 miles an hour at times, gusts to 20 potentially. But our high today is going to be 92, and we'll see that as you're heading home from work. Uh, even through, you know, 7, 8 o'clock, it's still going to be warm. Nationally, got a couple things going on. Okay, several things going on. Let's just be real. Um, first of all, in New England, wet weather there. Go down the Atlantic seaboard. Now, the remnants of Debbie continuing to slam Georgia and surrounding states with not only heavy rains, but uh, tornadic activity and the uh, winds in excess of 50 miles an hour. The heat continues into the Gulf states and the southwest but not the Northwest. Even though we're warmer than average, no heat advisor, uh, advisories, watches, or warnings. And here's what we've got. This is going to be, well, for the most part, we're going to see this influence coming out of Canada. While it's still warm, okay, and we have the cold air that's moved to the east, we're still seeing that cooler than the air from the Southwest. So we're going to remain rather consistent with temperatures hovering around 80 or upper 80s and low 90s and that takes us all the way through the end of the week smoke forecast yeah we're pulling more air out of canada but they have a lot of fires up there and so we're going to continue to see that pull across spokane moderate to unhealthy for some that's going to really what the sensitive groups we're going
going to see that throughout the week, but moderate seems to be the, the push. We see sensitive now just coming into areas of the northern Selkirks. We look at our forecast, we're going to remain dry. We don't have anything other than isolated sprinkle coming out of maybe some of the clouds mainly to the north, Colville. That's going to be for Thursday evening, and then that's going to run along that Canadian line, and we're just going to have variable clouds. For today, we're going to have temperatures 87 in Sandpoint. Nice, 92 for us, 93 into Ritzville. Um, it's going to be sunny, hot, again, with a red flag warning in the Lewiston area. With breezy conditions, 99 for the high and the chance of isolated thunderstorms in that area. For us, not so much. Sunshine tomorrow, it's going to be 90, 88 Thursday and Friday. And then hovering around 90 as we enter a, another wonderful weekend. Mm -hmm. Wonderful weekend. Sounds nice. Sure uh, I like to be optimistic. <laughs> yeah, no, kick Taco, it up a notch. Taco Tuesday, wonderful weekend. See, love it. We're there. Mm -hmm, I love the alliteration. <laughs> it's now just about 10 minutes before the hour. Your morning sprint's coming up next. Thanks so much for starting your morning with us right here on Good Morning Northwest. Happy Tuesday. We'll be right back. Live stream KXLY Plus on the 4 News Now app. 4 News Now is brought to you by Everhart Painting. Have you worked or enjoyed the outdoors in Lincoln County before 2014? You may have been exposed to harmful Libby amphibole asbestos. Get your free asbestos health screening today. Don't wait. Early detection is key. Contact the CARD Clinic at LibbyAsbestos.org. This summer, don't sweat it. Bill's Heating and AC has you covered with the best prices on air conditioners and heat pumps. Guaranteed. With over 3,000 five-star reviews, we're the locally owned company you can trust. Our expert technicians provide fast, reliable service to ensure your home stays comfortable all season long. And should you ever have an issue, we're open seven days a week to provide immediate help. So what are you waiting for? Call Bill's Heating and AC for your free quote today. I'm Tiffany Smiley, and I approve this message. He's been in office way too long. He's completely out of touch. Even voted to give total amnesty and citizenship to millions of illegal immigrants. You might be thinking Joe Biden, but it's Dan Newhouse. That's right, Amnesty Dan and Sleepy Joe work together to encourage the invasion of gangs, drugs, and crime into our communities. So now it's time for Dan and Joe to go. Respect, protect, pay essential grocery store workers. Because my coworkers and I stood united with our union, UFCW 3000. We just negotiated a record-setting contract for the essential grocery store workers at Albertsons, Fred Meyer, and Safeway. We are able to secure funding for workforce development and training and pension contribution increases. If you'd like a strong union at your workplace, contact us here. The Make It Ford Summer Sales Event is on. Amazing offers and a great selection of the best-selling trucks in America for 47 years. Ford F-Series, gas, hybrid, or all-electric. These are the deals you've been waiting for, so don't wait. Make it Ford. Make it yours. Make it now. Lease a 2024 F-150 STX Super Crew for just $399 a month. Only at your local Ford dealer. Have you worked or enjoyed the outdoors in Lincoln County before 2014? You may have been exposed to harmful Libby amphibole asbestos. Get your free asbestos health screening today. Don't wait. Early detection is key. Contact the CARD Clinic at LibbyAsbestos.org. See breaking news in your area or have a story idea? Contact 4 News Now. Time right now is 6.52 and it's time to get you ready to take on your Tuesday in the morning sprint. Mark Peterson is here preparing us for some light rainfall today. Allison Martinez is at the Spokane County Elections Office to share key information before Election Day ends. Hannah Joy is here in studio with breaking news updates on Vice President Kamala Harris's running mate pick. Harris made her running mate decision less than one day after receiving the Democratic nomination for president. According to ABC News, it is Minnesota Governor Tim Walz. She's set to formally introduce Walz tonight at a campaign rally in Philadelphia. Much more about this historic decision coming up on Good Morning America. 
All right, as we look at our forecast for the day and our first alert weather, and that first alert weather app is still very valid and available, and it's free. Uh, we're going to see really a few high thin clouds today. We could see a sprinkle out of maybe a couple of those clouds. That's going to be about it. Uh, temperatures right now waking up 69 at the West Plains, 64 Liberty Lake. Hayden, you're at 60 degrees. Things look pretty good. All right, our forecast for the day, it's going to warm up. We're going to have plenty of sunshine, a little bit of haze, and 92 degrees. Today is primary election day. I'm here at the Spokane County Elections Office where workers have already been getting an early start to the day. We've also seen people coming by and dropping off their ballots. If you haven't done that yet, here is some key information to keep in mind. If you haven't registered, you can still do that in person today until 8 p.m. Your ma mailed ballot also must be postmarked by today. Now, official ballot drop boxes are open until 8 p.m. We'll have live election coverage on 4 News Now tonight. Washington Secretary of State Steve Hobbs, who is up for re-election this year, wants to warn voters about misinformation. In a news release sent yesterday, Hobbs pointed to this post as an example of misinformation. In it, Elon Musk shares a manipulated video purporting to be Vice President Kamala Harris through the use of AI. An expert on election misinformation from the University of Washington says other rumors began to rapidly spread online after the presidential debate, and especially after President Joe Biden dropped out of the race. Her advice, slow down. Secretary Hobbs also had some additional advice. The Spokane Fire District 13 wants to raise property taxes by 31 cents per $1,000 of assessed value. For a $500,000 home, that's about $150 a year. The fire district says it doesn't have enough money in its operations budget to keep the current staffing level. To see what could happen to your insurance rates if this levy is not approved, find this story on KXLY.com. We are focused on the local races and resolutions that will impact you. You can take out your phone right now and scan this QR code. It'll send you to the page to download the 4 News Now app. There you can catch up on all of our local elections coverage and keep the Washington primary results right at your fingertips as they come in tonight. A fire in North Garfield County is fully contained this morning. The Lower Granite Fire started just more than a week ago north of Pomeroy. It burned nearly 15,000 acres. According to the Garfield County Sheriff's Office, the wildfire started on South Deadman Road briefly, causing level three evacuations. A few days ago, Wildland crews had that fire 99% contained and handed over fire command to local firefighters. Overnight, fire officials updated containment to 100%. And near Kella and the Sawilla fire, these new photos show the work along Highway 21 that allowed the Department of Transportation to open another stretch of the road over the weekend. That fire is 90% contained this morning and families in Keller have started to return home. With that, the Keller Ferry is now fully operational as well as the post office this morning, though crews are still fighting to stop the fire's spread. And an update that could take a toll on your morning drive. There's another construction project just underway off of I-90 at the Pines exit. There will be lane closures and delays there through October while crews widen the road between Marietta and Mansfield. Tonight is National Night Out and it's a time to promote police and community partnerships. Police departments and community groups host events like block parties, barbecues, and even some fun festivals. There are several local events if you'd like to take part, including one at Green Bluff, where they'll have uh, free hot dogs and chips. And you can play some cornhole. It's happening from 6 to 7 at 9809 East Green Bluff Road. And in North Idaho, you can meet Sheriff Bob Norris and other Kootenai County deputies at McIntyre Family Park in Hayden. See a canine demo and enjoy food, drinks, and live music today from 4 to 8. COVID-19 cases are on the rise, and CDC data shows the levels de detected in wastewater have been increasing since May, including here in Washington and Idaho. The most common variant is KP3. Officials say if it's been a while since you've been vaccinated, you might be vulnerable to it. You can see more on this health update coming up next on Good Morning America. And we'll be back with a final check of weather with Mark Peterson coming up right after this break. When it's time to protect your home, call Everhart Painting, Spokane's premier painting contractor. Everhart Painting takes care of every detail and backs the results with their industry-leading warranty. Call now for our summer special. Everhart Painting, your painter for life. I was 44, working part-time. It was my first mammogram, and they found a few cancerous places in my left breast. I didn't have any symptoms. I didn't feel sick. I didn't have a lump in my breast. I did, there was nothing. I wasn't afraid I was going to die. My first fear was, how am I going to tell my daughter? 
As a result of early detection, I didn't have to do chemotherapy. I just did surgery and radiation. You know, was able to maintain a good quality of life, and, and now it's a distant memory. Democratic candidate Carmilla Conroy doesn't fit our district. She wants higher taxes for the rich and Obamacare for everyone. Democrat Carmela Conroy is too far left, and that isn't right. I'm Michael Baumgartner, and I approve this message. When it's time to protect your home, call Everhart Painting, Spokane's premier painting contractor. Everhart Painting takes care of every detail and backs the results with their industry-leading warranty. Call now for our summer special. Everhart Painting, your painter for life. All right, good morning, everybody. A little bit of haze out there. Air quality is just into the moderate range. Expecting it to hang out there for the next couple of days. We're not going to see a lot of uh, positive change in the air movement. 92 for the high today. 87, 88 is a normal high, so just above average. For Wednesday, it is going to be sunny in 90. Again, probably holding on to that moderate air quality. Um, Thursday, Friday, upper 80s average for this time of year well above average by one degree and then we're going to be hovering around 90 for the weekend so it is going to be a dry week ahead with temperatures just slightly above average thanks so much for starting your day with us right here on good morning northwest yeah we sure appreciate it we'll see you throughout good morning america it starts right now